What up YouTube? It's your boy Mem the Bar once again. Yes, and I'm back with another video. Now in this video, I'll be demonstrating on how to do some high tapers. Now of course the client wanted to continue letting the, uh, the top grow out. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get to it. Okay guys, now to create this high taper, I am going to use my wall cords detailers to create my first guideline. Okay guys, so once you guys are done with uh, creating your guidelines, I am going back to the first guideline that I created. Now I am using my wall magic clips with an open lever to create an, a second guideline. Okay guys, so the next step what I did was uh, I grabbed, I mean I closed the lever little by little to try to get rid of that, that first guideline that I created. Okay guys, so the next step, I'm using the 1 8th guard with an open lever. Now pretty much what I'm doing, I'm just trying to blend in that guideline that you've seen. Um, I'm, I'm not really digging the teeth in there so much. The only reason why I'm not doing it is because I don't want to create another hard line and make it much harder for me to, you know, to, to use another guard and not being able to, to get rid of that line. Okay, so the next step, I grab my um, my one and a half guard with an open lever, and pretty much what I'm doing, I'm trying to soften out and blend in as much as I can with this one and a half guard. Uh, I'm not really digging the teeth in this so much, like I said, but I'm also scooping out, you know, if that makes sense. Um, now, the reason why I'm using this this half guard, I mean one and a half guard, I'm sorry, it's just you know to soften out that bottom line, you know, and like I said, I'm following the same steps that I did in the beginning by closing the lever little by little.
So now I'm using my 116 guard and as you can see I pointed out with my pinky the, the line that I'm about to blend in with the 116 guard. Now pretty much what I'm doing is trying to clean up as much as I can and you know just by using the corners and, and you know just trying my best to get this blend right and you know pretty much just closing it little by little and, you know and, and, you, and you're starting to see how like the, the, the blend is starting to come out. Okay guys, so you wonder why I'm using the thinning shears. The reason why I'm using it is because I'm trying to blend as much as I can with it. You know, so pretty much what the what the thinning shears does is it thins out the 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 some of the the bulk, you know, and it blends right into the fade. I, I suggest a lot of people should do that when it comes to like fades, any type of fades, and you're starting to see how like the the fade, I mean or any taper or any fades starting to come out. I mean it's really helpful. Okay guys, now for this side, it's pretty much doing the same steps, uh, just repeat them, uh, the steps that I did on the other side. Now, as you can see guys, I am about to fast forward this, uh, just the fact that, you know, I don't want to continue repeating the same thing, but anyways, I'm fast forwarding. Okay guys, now when it comes to tapers, I mean, it, whatever side you start, if you like to start from the back or you like to start from the left or right, make sure you do the same steps. Now the only reason why I'm telling you guys this is because like I've done this before where like I do one side, I use like some steps, whatever, or some technique, and then the other side I'm like, oh snap, like I forgot how to do it, like what I, I forgot what I did on the other side. So it's really important that you remember the steps that you did. And pretty much what I'm telling you guys is repeat the same steps from side to side and back.
Okay, guys. Now, once you're done with like with your tapers, if you like to start from from the front hairline, or whatever, that's your own preference. I mean, I like to start from the back, uh, just to make sure like you know everything is coming out smooth. You know, like making sure like the the taper is coming out neat. Um, that's the reason why I like to start from the back. Uh, you know, and just it looks more crispier. I mean, that's just how the way I like to do it. Uh, maybe I should give it a try sometime. You know, to start from the back. I'm pretty sure everyone does, but. As you can see, I'm starting to do the shape up. Okay guys, now since the client has um, long hair, I want to be able to, you know, to not have trouble like just holding his hair with my left hand, uh, you know, at the same time trying to line him up. Now what I did was I grabbed some clips and I just, you know, uh, clip his hair pretty much. And I'm doing, what I'm doing right now, I'm combing the hair down uh, just as much as I can, you know, that way I can come with the hairspray and, and you know, spray it down. And uh, pretty much so that way it can actually give that the extra hold and make it much easier for me to do this lineup.
All right, you guys, well, this is a final cut, some high tapers. Of course, the client has some curls going on. If you guys end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. And uh, you guys, I really do appreciate you guys for, for all my subscribers out there, for, for the likes that you guys have been giving me on every video. And if you guys have any comments, that you guys any questions, just make sure to comment down below. And I'll try my hardest to get back to you guys. All right, you guys, until next time.